Hi everyone, this is Kaylee here at the Beauty Garrett's Group at Keller Williams Realty Select. And today on Business Spotlight, we're going to be interviewing Coastal Blue Waters Garage Door and Gate Specialist, Kim. Hey Kim, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Could you tell me a little bit about your, you and your business? Yes, so we have a commercial residential garage door and gates. We also service access gates to communities. You'll see barrier arms that people go in and out of um, places, or there are some residencies that have the gates on the outside. We do those. Um, we do your garage door springs if they break. You know, we kind of full service all around in that situation. A lot of times, though, people don't understand the gates part of it. That, you know, they have somebody out to work on their garage doors, but we also do your entry gates to your estate or your home or your subdivision. Well, that's good to know. Uh, what processes have you changed because of COVID-19 to protect customers and your employees? We try to keep a fairly contactless um, situation with garage doors. We are fortunate in the fact of, you know, somebody could stand at their door and have quite a distance between them and us working on the door um, or need be if they need to just come out when they're finished, just open the door and go back. Um, we do offer, you know, if, if people would like masks, some people would like masks worn all the time. Um, it just kind of depends on the situation. We definitely ask people what, what their feelings are for that. Great. Uh, what challenges are you experiencing currently? Due to COVID? Yeah. Or just, the, yeah, it, it's just a lot different because it's, you know, in, in this industry, People, people usually don't have somebody come out to check on their garage door until it's an actual need thing. And during COVID, there's not a lot of need because most people are just staying home. So a garage door is not being used. So that gave us some good, good family time and everybody got to be, be home and take it easy. That's awesome. Um, what is the best time to reach out to your business for assistance? We actually um, are on call 24 seven. Um, unfortunately, garage some companies some places some people work different hours so there's not always a set time um so if you give us a call we can definitely help you know we like eight to five but in that that's not a real world you come home from work your garage door won't come up it's it's not a real world in this so yeah. so we're pretty much around all the time you can't you can't precisely say a date or time when something's going to go wrong and if you're stuck in your garage and you need to get to work well then you need to have something done sooner than later so we're kind of all around <laughs> um, if there was one recommendation you could give to another business owner or manager to help them during this time what would it be definitely don't sit idle there's still always stuff for your business getting out like this conversation that we're having today there's always stuff that you can get out there and just be present. This We look at this as a great downtime in the fact of there's always catch up no matter what business you're in. And so this is a good time to catch up, get yourself out there. The time where you're busy during the day and you don't have it normally, you have a little bit more time now to reach out and do these kind of things. So yeah. definitely don't sit idle. Definitely take advantage of those times that you have. Yes, that is great advice. Um, what is one thing you wish everyone knew about garage doors? So the thing about garage doors and, and, you know, we have the philosophy, this is a family owned business and we have the philosophy is I, it's a very used thing. It's the biggest moving part of your house. It is the thing that generally most people use a couple times a day, if not more. Um, it's, it's one of those things I think you forget that how many cycles did my garage because it is very frustrating when a garage door breaks because it's always at an inopportune time it seems um, or just it, it, it mostly at an inopportune time but we do forget it's like anything else you go to the dentist to have your teeth maintained so that you don't have to have something big done um, it's really hard to because I there are things that I frivolously think I'm like I'm not going to spend my money on that I'd rather go to dinner today than do that it's very hard because if you can sometimes just service those things have a service call have them check your rollers and your cables so you can prevent those bigger issues now it's not always a hundred percent but there it, there's preventative stuff that you can do to make sure that you're not going to encounter a huge problem all at once you know sometimes it's inevitable but 
basically you use your garage door a lot. So you want to make sure yeah. that you preventive maintenance, maintenance also change your rollers or um, just do different maintenance to it. That is great to know. Um, how do you know it's time to have your garage door replaced other than when it's broken and not moving? <laughs> There's signs to things. Again, um, our philosophy here is we don't really have the philosophy of just go ahead and just fix, just rip it out and do all new. That's not our philosophy. Um, our philosophy is it's, it's made up of moving parts. So with those moving parts, sometimes your cables just frayed from overwork. So we would just replace those. So for us, it's more of a, what is the position that's going on? Is it your opener and it's just having issues? Are your photo eyes older? Um, when it comes to the garage door portion of it, there are different things. You know, your door will sag and it will, you know, start to, the weather down here does horrible things to it. It'll start to have different um, things going on with it, you know, different, like, did, so to speak, or the framework of it's not as, as wonderful. So there are parts that you can redo on a garage door. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people call and you can see your, the space between your garage door and your cement. Well, a lot of times you can just put a bottom seal on there, replace the bottom seal. It's not really the whole door needs to be replaced. It's more of that seal mm -hmm. has been through a lot of elements. And so it just needs to be replaced. So you kind of have to just, it's a working part for us. Um, some people want a new garage door. They've painted their house. They want it to look new and fresh and a different style maybe. Um, but for the most part, we have the philosophy of there are moving parts to it. You don't necessarily have to do the whole garage door. There's some aesthetic things you can do to go through to get it to where you want it to look. Good. Um, how often do you guys recommend having your garage door maintenance? I would say, you know, kind of watch it. Um, your your rollers, you know, your your cables, you know, you can see when things like that are fraying. Usually about every year or so, just have somebody look at it, just make sure, you know, and, and if you go that year and they replace some things, then you're good for a while. Um, so just kind of physically watch your things. There are lots of moving parts and it's a big piece of equipment that's in your house. So you wanna always make sure that you're checking the safety of it on your own. Just kind of see what the normal looks for it so that when, if there is a cable that's frayed, that you're aware of, that's a potential hazard to things. Okay, okay great. Um, what is your favorite part of your day? Oh, I like talking to people. So I like meeting new people and, and, and founding relationships like that. I, I like speaking with people. You know, unfortunately we get a lot of people who call with it's an emergency um, and it feels good to be able to help them, you know, cause it doesn't seem like a lot, but when somebody needs to get to an appointment by a certain time, that's, that's detrimental to their life. That mm -hmm. that's an important part. So it's nice to talk to people and be able to help them with that and make it easier for people to go on about their day. That's great. What are you grateful for today? Family. In life, <laughs> the the ability, the ability, the the ability to have a business, um, and to help people, you know, and I believe that, you know, you have to. Our world is founded on this that you have to help people. Um, I think that that's a big part. So I'm grateful that we have the ability to help people. Some people would say well, it's just a garage door, but in our world, for some people, when that time needs to happen, it, for us, it's a big deal, and we want to make sure. We help everybody. Um, how can consumers reach you and your company? We um, have our phone number is 941-210-8767. Or you can go to our website, which is cbwdoorandgates.com. Great. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining us today on our local business spotlight. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay.